Hello guys. So now I'm gonna walk you through my process in making a watercolor illustration. Basically, these are my materials. I already sprayed some water para ma moist na siya, para ma activate na yung. I already sketched um, an illustration. Ito yung thumb ko. <laughs> Diyan siya nagumpisa din, in a sketch ko lang here. So, I usually don't erase anymore, kasi mapapatunga naman siya. So, basically, what I do is I choose a brush that's quite big para sa unang washes. I lay down the colors first. For the first color, I'll be using blue for the sky. So, medyo matagal to. Pero for me, I tend to paint straight sa paper. May tape na siya so that clean yung, yung borders kapag after mag-paint. So, I usually just put the base colors on the paper. Kung anong gusto kong ma-achieve na color. For those of you who'd like to try watercolors, it requires patience. Dahil, kailangan mo talagang intayin na matuyo siya. Medyo matagal. <laughs> uh, we can always use a bigger brush. Kapag nagpipaint ka with watercolors. Minsan nakakatakot. Pero, minsan maganda rin kapag, like, let the water do its work. Kaya may thumb draft sa, sa ibang paper. That's to minimize the erasing on the paper dahil kapag erase ka na no, nag-erase sa watercolor paper nasisira niya yung fiber ng paper for my paper i'm using hanemule um watercolor paper wala siyang like specific line sa hanemule just the hanemule watercolor paper it's archival and it's affordable yes product placement <laughs> sa pang factor kung bat magandang mag-invest sa watercolor paper is that kapag nagkamali ka and you need to lift yung colors mas madali siyang gawin kaysa kapag cellulose lang yung paper there tapos na yung mga trees so do naman tayo sa mountains most of my watercolors are just one brand if I um, like a certain color from another brand, binibili ko din. Um, syempre, yung brand naman very like preferential siya. Pero for me, this one works well with my style. Nagmi-mix lang ako. Hindi ko kasi masyadong gusto yung unang color. Para ma-distinguish yung, like yung ibang mountain, ibahin natin yung shade. Uh, madali lang naman siyang matutunan with practice. Maganda din siyang medium to start with painting. Kunyari, for acrylic, um, nakakatakot mag-start with parang canvas. Pero with watercolors, you can always you can always choose to paint parang smaller pieces. When putting details, mamaya, I will, I will use the, my color pencils. Minsan, mas, <laughs> mas madaling maglagay ng details for me using colored pencils rather than paint. Mas precise, mas controlled mo yung lapat ng strokes. We let it sit for a while. So, kunyari may lagpas na ganyan. Pwede nyo naman siyang i-lift. Here, smaller brush. Pwede mo siyang basain, then i-lift mo lang with paper towel. Research then on parang pigment behaviors ng paint. Then, one more tip. Make sure when painting na wash nyo yung hands nyo para hindi matransfer yung oil ng kamay sa paper. Um, I waited for the paint to dry so we can proceed with the second layer. Dito, medyo mas precise na dapat since hindi na to yung unang pagli ng colors. I think number one hack naman with artists, lalo na yung mga nagpipaint, is never place your drinking water or like your drink near your paint water. Though, hindi pa naman siya nangyayari sa akin ever. <laughs> never pa ako na-confuse with my drinking like cup and paint water. When you're just starting out and you wanna buy materials, make sure na yung mga bibirin nyo 
versatile. Like, kunyari ito, malaking brush siya, pero kaya niya ng medyo maliliit dun sa, yan, sa mga gilid-gilid. Kaya naman niya. Always remember na wala din siya sa brand. What works for others may not work for you. And what works for you may not work for others. Though yung iba, um, they use white pen to draw the white, um, mga white parts ng painting nila. I don't know if you can see. Iba-iba talaga yung behavior per pigment. So, tung pigment na to, nag-granulate. And, of course, yung granulation, hindi lang naman siya sa paint nagdedepende, but sa paper din. So, kung kunyari, textured yung paper mo. So, mas noticeable yung granulation versus kapag very smooth yung paper. You're planning to invest on a more expensive paper. Make sure you store them sa dry na lugar. Preferably with the humidifiers para hindi para hindi ma-damage yung paper. So, mas mahaba yung buhay niya. Especially for cotton papers, dahil mas high yung absorbency niya. Pag tinignan mo, hindi pa siya nagbabago masyado, pero talagang kailangan ng layering ng, ng watercolor para makita mo yung pag ano ng colors. I'm not an expert. This is just how I paint. Minsan natatakot ka mag-paint. Fear of the blank canvas, pang ganun. Dapat ka matakot, like parang saya kaya mag-paint. Like, hindi mo naman, hindi mo madidiscover what you tru truly like if hindi mo itatry. Pag inisip mo, mukha pa siyang makalat, pero hopefully, gaganda din yan. <laughs> Sana! I hope. I wish. And I think pag gumagawa ka ng, ng like, if you're painting, hmm, don't have to be so hard on yourself. Parang ano ba yun ng pangit naman? Wala tayo magagawa. Minsan ganun talaga. Okay. Yan yung second layer. So, um, we'll let it dry first before parang putting another layer and putting on uh, more details using paint. The second layer has dried, so pwede na tayong mag lagay ulit ng iba pang layers. So, usually pag nasa third layer na ako ng painting, nando na yung like medyo concentrated na yung paglagay ng details. I switch brushes time to time. Yun, another personal preference. It's easier to um, clean and mix ceramic palettes. Like, actually, kahit nga hindi naman totoong palette, like, pang plato lang pwede. Kasi pag plastic, parang nagpupull together yung pigments. Nung first na layer, sobrang, sobrang washed out, pang wala at all. Talagang, when using watercolors, you have to really layer on. Magandang quarantine activity siya, guys. Kung gusto man ng pang de-stress sa weekend. So, there. Tinan nyo, medyo may problema ako dun. Masyado siyang matubig kanina. So, i-wash ko lang yung edges para medyo mag like, hindi masyadong OA yung, yung line. So, yun. One, one tip. When using green, never use it straight from the pan. I, and well, pan and tube because masyado siyang unnatural. Always mix your greens. As I mentioned, I like using earthy color, so tinan niyo yung water ko. <laughs> Literal na earth na siya. <laughs> then we'll let it, uh, we'll wait for it to dry again. <laughs> Medyo lumilitaw naman na yung, like yung texture.
just to show you guys um, how the final product would look like like how usually my final paintings look like when painting with watercolor so here yan medyo finish and as you can see magkapareho lang sila ng colors talaga then this one also then when adding the final touches i usually use my colored pencils na i can just add mga lines here and there Usually, hindi naman very noticeable, pero for me, mas gusto ko yung medyo mas, yung pencil lines, yung hagod ng pencil on watercolor. Naglalagay lang ako ng, like, ng onting pa shadows. Yan. So, there. I'll be giving a digital copy of this in Common Room's Patreon account. And I'll be listing down my go-to art materials and my recommendations as well. Um, thank you for joining me and I hope you learned something from my painting session. We hope to see what you come up with and we hope to see your craft projects while we're all at home. Maybe you can share in the comments also your recommendations and if you have questions just type them in and we'll try our best to answer them. Thank you and I hope you have a nice day or a nice evening or a nice whatever kung ano mong time yun nandiyan ka. Bye!